Well, 34 of these closed circuit TV cameras have been keeping an eye on people in Toronto for many years. Most of them, though, are located in the downtown core. But now the province is kicking in $3 million to expand police surveillance into more neighborhoods where gang violence is taking place. I think it's a real deterrent. You know, criminals coming in neighborhoods, the first thing they want to do is look around to see if there's cameras. It's a $3 million funding boost from the province that will give Toronto police more eyes on gang activity. 40 additional CCTV cameras like the ones you've probably noticed at downtown intersections will be strategically placed in neighbourhoods where gun violence has been escalating. First and foremost, the townhouse that I go to, more and more requests are for cameras. And uh, When you look at the successes of many of our cases, technology, especially the CCTV cameras, have had tremendous impact. So I, I'm really grateful for uh, the Premier and his government to understand these are the needs that the city uh, is being looking for. But could these tax dollars be better spent in the battle against guns and gangs? Councillor Mike Cole thinks so. He represents Lawrence Heights, a neighborhood that's been a hot spot for shootings. Now, Lawrence Heights, it's like there's uh, two major highways right running through the light so that the gun runners uh, and the drug dealers just speed away. I want, you know, uh, traffic controls and I want uh, speed bumps uh, and uh, plus I want uh, lights. I don't see what cameras can do with the drive by shootings to identify people with tinted windows. Do gang members look around for cameras before they use a gun? No, cameras are not a deterrent not to organize crime or people or gangsters. Author and gang expert James Dubrow tells me cameras are an excellent tool after the fact when it comes to identifying killers and solving crimes. But he does raise concerns about the beefed up police surveillance moving into at-risk communities. They're basically picking neighborhoods and saying, we're going to look at you, we're going to watch you. That could be tri that could be uh, that could be seen as a kind of visual kind of carding. Who's going to be looking at these cameras? Who's going to be seeing? And what are they going to be seeing? Well, the CCTV cameras started in Toronto as a pilot project back in 2007 and mainly targeted the entertainment district. The police chief says he will be consulting with the Guns and Gangs Unit, community leaders and uh, neighborhood officers to try and figure out the best place to put the 40 new cameras. This rollout will be happening over the next three years.